Okay, so now let's go and maintain functional areas. Okay, so what, what is this functional area, right? A functional area um, is a group of, it's a group or a department in a company that performs a specific task or a function, you know. So engineering department is an example where, you know, all your engineering can depend on the products are designed or developed your sales department, for example, your you know, purchasing department, your HR department. So you'll have to, you know, create, uh, you create all these areas and then use these as attributes when you, uh, as an attribute of a role, okay? So let's click on maintain functional area. Click on new entries. Let's say HR, let's say, HR department. Attributes HR. And here, see, you, you can, depending on the group or, you know, or the company, you can assign the company. Okay, we only had created one company, so we only got only one. But if you have multiple companies, you can you say, okay, which department belongs to uh, which uh, company. Okay, so let's go and say sales. You don't have to say department because we, it's, it's implied. So, so let's say SL as an abbreviation and right, let's say Okay, F5. Uh, let's say IT. Okay, so you can create like this, you can create or add uh, whatever departments you have um, in your company. So for example, another one you could do is uh, support. That same. Okay, so once you've made all your entries, click on save. Uh, prompts you for a transport request. Put it in a transport request. So, what does it mean? What does it? Uh, what is a functional area? A functional area is a group or department in your company that performs a specific task or a function. Okay. So you have to define those functional areas here, and it could be, it will be used as a uh, attribute for a role. Let's go back. And uh, now we'll see the organization level mapping. Okay, very important when, when it comes to uh, derived roles, but also it could be one of those at, you know um, attributes that could be used in MSMP for uh, your process flow, uh, uh, you know, the approvals uh, flow. So let's see how do we define organizational level maps.